One of the things that I'd like to do uh, on this adventure is create a lovely cinematic video that shows where we went, what we did, and how much fun we had. Last year we had the privilege of sailing through the Balearic Islands on this beautiful catamaran called the Midori, and I used a small handheld gimbal camera called a Remuvu and created, I feel, quite an attractive and compelling video. What I thought I'd like to do this year on this adventure is mix it up and showing a bunch of different views. This means using a drone, using still cameras, using some gimbals, and of course on the bike using GoPros, but also from various different angles. So the problem this makes is that you end up with a lot of electronics that has to find its way either onto the bike or into the panniers for when you need them, because obviously you only bring out the drone when you need the drone. And all of this is weight. And every ounce that you put on a bike, you feel. So one of the hardest things to do is to figure out what are we gonna take and what are we gonna leave? And trust me, we have so many options that we've been considering and trying to figure out what is the perfect what is the perfect combination of, of, of cameras to take? The other thing, of course, is that I have absolutely no idea how to fly a drone. So in the next few days, when my drone arrives, I'm gonna to have to learn how to fly a drone, preferably not into the trees or into the lakes or the rivers or into the power lines. And I'm gonna figure out, can I make a drone fly and film both Kim and I when I'm actually riding the bike and Kim is operating the drone? So. <laughs> There are a few challenges that face us in this regard for sure. And then the question is just how do we tear down our electronics so we just don't carry too much weight.